coming up with Prophet Embassy Church of All Nations. Power to break witchcraft and all things of witchcraft, whatever concerns that. Now, those who are yesterday, I told them it is a long thing, it's a long since beginning. God wants his children from Genesis 22, verse 18. Says, Thou shalt not suffer a woman who is a witch to leave. Again, the book of Leviticus 20 27, the word of God says, Let there be no found among a suit who goes to consult medium, witchcraft, spiritualist, or any person who is performing witchcraft. And today I want to go to the New Testament and find that these people after Christ, our child in our ganga, bad one ikua. Bad is Christ of Kuja Duniana Kuanoka, bad one child in our ganga or ikua. And that takes us to the book of uh, Acts 13 verse 6. Acts 13 verse 6. Yes. Walipo kwisha kupita katikati ya kisiwa chote mpaka pavo. When they passed through down the whole place. Wakaona mtu mmoja. They met a certain man. Chawi. This man was a sorcerer. Napiwa uongo. This is a New Testament. Miaudi. We are not talking about Old Testament. We are talking after Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not BC. It is AC. Hallelujah. After Christ. Now after Christ now, we are to release that this our messenger. And one of them, this is Apostle Paul. And in the beginning of his ministry, the fact, you need to know that the ministry of Paul. Now let's read chapter 2 so that we can realize what you are talking about. That in verse 2. We realize is the beginning of the ministry of Apostle Paul. Verse 2 says. Uh-huh. Worshiping the Lord and fasting. Where? Two things. Now we are fasting for 40 days. Since Monday. Continue. These are two things. When they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Spirit of God said, Set apart Paul and Barnabas for the work I have called for them. Uh huh. Rob, Takatifa, Kasema. Give back. Uh huh. And the Spirit of God said, I told you people the other day, there are things will never come in your life until you fast. You will be praying. But when you fear fasting, you hear fasting, you run away because you have food. Now, most easily, you bad and need it of Fauci. Kuna ibada ya kuomba, kuna ibada ya kuwa mudu, na kuna ibada ya kufunga. Sasa, tunafanya ibada ya kuomba, vile vile tunafanya ibada ya kufunga. Kwa hiyo, katika hizi ibada, paka we mwenye ujitole useme komba, kuna ibada sija fanyia mungu, numefanya ibada ya kuwa mudu, lakini sija ibada ya fanyi ibada ya kufunga. Lazimo kazane uweze kuingira kwenye maomi na kufunga na kumoma prana. So, tunayelewa ya komba, uduma ya poor inaanza, na uduma inapoanza uduma ya poor, Kitu ya kwanza anapotana ya chini Hapo sala ni verse 6 and hapo chini Wanatengwa na wanaanza kwenye kumili ya chini Sasa wanapo wandoka ukisoma hapo chini Endelea kusoma Nipo wakisha kufunga na kuomba Nipo wakisha kufunga na kuomba Wakawekewa mikono juu yao Wakawekewa mikono juu yao Wakawacha waende zao Wakawacha waende zao Basi po Basi watu hao Basi watu hao Wakisha kupenewa na roo mtakatifu Wakaanza kwenye na roo mtakatifu we went to Serokia. And from there they started not going. They were not going as of their own. They were going as commanded by the Holy Spirit. They were driven, not the car of their life, but the car of the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. And when they were in Salamis, they started preaching the word of God in all synagogue of that place. Now God said, when the Holy Spirit comes to your life, we are not going to be able to do it. God said, in the ministry of, uh, of Paul and Barnabas, God sent a man, his name was John Mark. Hallelujah. Now John Mark came in the ministry to help them to preach the word of God. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Are you hearing me now? He was also a 
are one of the people, the Pharisees that were staying there. Uh -huh. Are you hearing? The rich, the rich man, he was staying with someone called, he was a great man, Sadi Paulus, a great man of that land, like a prime minister. Uh -huh. Man with his own mind. Now, Bible records here very clear that this man was not a fool. He was not like Naba in the Old Testament. He was a wise man. Hallelujah. That to me, such this man who was a witch, he had controlled the mind of this man. Now, when witchcraft comes in your life, I said again, the things you do are not the things that you like. There are things that control you. You are about to do business. You don't do business. You are about to become a worshiper. You become a stripper in a crowd. You are about to become somebody who can help people. You become a borrower. The mind was changed of this man. Though he was a wise man, his mind was changed. Uh -huh. Are you hearing? But because the spirit of God was at work, this man called that this man should come to his place. Uh -huh. This man wanted to hear the message of the Lord. But Elimas, because that was his name. But what that was his name. Are you hearing me? The power of witchcraft, who in a shida na watu wa mungu. Unako sema itawezekana, iyo roo ina sema haiwezekani. Wawo anajaribu kwa biyo ya mtu, sasa Yesu ni uri ya likufa haka fufuka. Wakansa kushinana na ee. We are all gay. But spiritually, there are these ways controlling this man. What do you see? And now when you read this verse, you understand what Elimas was doing. Can you finish reading the verse? Are you hearing? Haisemeli, babo haisemi, haka anza kushinana wa kiongea. Hapana. Bivile soa kwa ba, haka taa kutia moyo. Kwa hiyo, chenye alikuwa na barilisha, shio mawazo yake kwa kinyo, alikuwa na barilisha roho yake. Kama wele nguvi ya uchawi, inabarilisha roho ya mtu. Kama mtu uye akiri yake, anasikia fanya kitu fulani, iyo akiri yake na barilisho, na kuwabea siku ya leo, kila nguvi ya gisha, inabarilisha moyo wako, inabarilisha mipango yako, inabarilisha mioyo ya wale ya mwana kuzunguka, inabarilisha mioyo ya watu wa mwana metumwa na buwana, kuja kukua amalaka, inabarilisho, mtu ya sama, ah, hui mtafanya diashona ye, lakini roo hiyo kaigia ndani mwe wake, haka sama, hui suwezi nikafanya na ye, reina za kuja nisaidia hui mtu, reina kwa sama, apana sita msaidia, na wambea siku ya leo, haka shindana na wao, hata zetu kwa ndani ya roo, wakati tu kwa ndani ya mahami, tunapo ingia ndani ya kanisha, tunahaza kuomba, kuna nguvu inashindana na mawazo, inashindana na akili za watu wa mungu. Haleluya. Unaesema hakuna uchari, uchari upo. Wale likuwa mba jana, tukulikuwa na ibana mzuri sana siku ya jana. Wala niambia tulikuje ni ubiri. Na hata liwa kaniambia nende ubiri ijili ya jana. Kwa sabi hiyo ndo uchumi ya moko wiki hii. Ya kwa makuna mkufu ambazo, utawala ndani ya watu. Akaanza kushindana na wawo. Wawo wana muambia, wana muubiri na muambia. Yesu ni yuri anaokoa. Na ya nasema, si yuri anaokoa. Usisikize injili ya hawatu. Yes. Nami nitawa karibia ni ili kuwa hukumu. Nami mungu nasema atakaribia ili au kumu hawa chami. Na tangaza siku ya leo. Mungu wa shuke aanze kuhukumu kwa niyaba yako siku ya leo. There is no weapon from the Guinness you that shall prosper. And every time that shall rise in you, it shall be condemned. Hallelujah. And that is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. Na mimi mungu nasema nitakuwa shahidi Mwepesi kwa wachari Kila wachari ya nena kukuroga Mungu wa mesema leo atakuwa shahidi Ya kumarizana na ee Ya kumarizana na ee Ya kumarizana na ee Atakuwa shahidi mwepesi Kwa sema umeroga fail Na weo hata wana kesho Umeroga fulani fulani Safari yako na kusha Mwana kuwa shahidi mwepesi Katika maisha watu Ukiwa na mtu ambaye anapenda kufanya usinzi 
analala na huyu analala na huyu na hata kama ni wewe una roho ya usizi uchali unatawala juu yako uende mbali sasa nilikuwa na roho ya Mungu lakini hapo ina mbali sio wewe tu <laughs> ukiona una roho ya usizi ni kwa sababu uchali unatawala juu yako ukiona wewe kuna ajaka mji wako unaenda kuchukua malaya barabarani wewe unakaproti pale makaburini anatengenezwa saa hii <laughs> haleluya ukiona hapo na ukiona hata kwa usinzi usiulize unatoka wapi kwa sababu kuna madhabahu ya, ya uchali inatawala imejaribu kuwatafuta kwa njia yote imewakosa sasa mpaka upitiwe hiyo njia ili umalizie haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe ukiona wewe mpaka wacha bwanako uwewe ukazurude We unja wewe unazurura unajulikana kaburi yote ni hapa tu atukujui. Unajulikana mshomoro ni yote. Madhabahu ya umasikia ya uchawi inatawala kweli. Na ukisikia wewe una shida ya mwili sana, shida ya ngono inatawala kwako sana. Uwezi kana katatu mpaka uangalie pornography, uangalie movie, uangalie nini? Hizo vitu nguvu ya uchawi inatawala. Kuna mtu anakotoa akili yako. Kuna mtu anakutuma wewe ukafanye hiyo dhambi. Kuna madhabahu inatawala na waanze kuangalia saa hii. Wale watu na dini wanaambia wacha hii maneno. Hata kali bwanako, anza kuangalia sasa. Kuna madhabahu ya msikiti ya uchawi inatawala. 